you can see the baby spa is complete. And today we're gonna finish these cabinets. Remember in episode 14, when I was talking about pocket holes, I think I was standing right over here. And I'm pretty sure that I looked something like this. I'll uh, hit play so you can watch that. I don't know what it is about these pocket holes, but something about it bothers me. I'm just not the biggest fan, so. However. So this is the only Craig product that I actually have. And for some reason, my feeling towards all their other products are about the same as what I feel for this guy. I don't know what it is, I think it's Maybe because they're just so convenient. Now, having said that, I was really tempted and I almost bought these four jigs, but the total came out to about 129 American. But don't forget, you got shipping and duty, which at the end of the day is gonna come in around 800 Canadian. It's really a simple question, 800 Canadian or build your own jigs. And let's begin with these upper cabinets here. You guys have met uh, this big old guy. Bought it used a long time ago, but it served me well. It says a Tayak, 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 half horsepower. I like it. it's got a light. It's not too bad. I need to replace the belts though. They're uh, pretty worn out and I think they're causing a lot of vibration. I think we're ready, perfectly centered. Let's see if this works. It's funny, I'm gonna hold down my template with uh, Craig Claps. Kind of ironic. So we're a little over two and a half inches off the back and not ideal. I don't think the shelf's gonna tip, but I guess that's what happens when you kind of forget about this, so. Well, I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. A nice and snug too. No wiggle. Oh, can't get it out. There we go. There you have it, 4-3, good call. It's funny, like a few years ago, I uh, didn't like hockey. So for a Canadian, not typical, but basketball is a family sport. Anyways, uh, my little guy, he loves it, and we pretty much watch every single game, and I'm hooked. So let's put the doors on this guy. That would be what jig number two would be for. And if you've got a drill press, I really don't even think a jig is needed for putting on the doors. Let's uh, figure this one out.
Kid just made some sugar cookies. We're on the homeward stretch here. One more jig to build. Let's see if we can get some drawer fronts going. I like this guy. Take no credit, of course. Uh, something I saw on YouTube a while ago. And I'll find the video, link it for you. Basically, just got your center mark here, line it up on the drawer. So you can use it to mount your drawers if they're on, just like this. So in my case, I'm gonna actually use these holes for the poles to mount the drawer fronts. But in either case, you just mark out the centers on each drawer front and uh, line that up with your centered slot here and then go to town. I'm going to actually try and stay away from the hand drill and use the drill press. So I believe I've got a 11 center punch here, which I'll just use to mark out from our template. I can hear kids crying upstairs. That usually means Baby's up from his nap, and my time here is done. Call myself a weekend warrior, but really more like a weeknight warrior. Weekends are family time, work during the day, play with the kids for a few hours at night. Put them to bed, you got about two or three hours each night. Then it's important to hang out with your wife. So that's why uh, something like some simple cabinets take a month for me to complete, but I put my money on it that you're in the same boat and uh, just how it goes. While we're talking, why don't uh, you hit that subscribe button? 70% of you watching this aren't even subscribed, but there's a few of you who I love. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it's dinner time. And uh, I told you, the gang's here. Good work, Parks. Let's try not to look at the puck. <laughs> Nothing to say. Okay, time to get serious. Let's do these drawer fronts. Like I, uh, I jacked up here. Really frustrated right now. I've had a few moments to calm down and debrief. The issue is the fronts are cut as per my model, but it appears that the drawers themselves, for whatever reason I installed not as per my model. The drawer is below the drawer front. That air kind of compounds itself as you go down the drawers. At first I was thinking for sure, I'm gonna go need to buy another sheet of Baltic birch a second mortgage. But I'm thinking the easier solution might be just adjusting these drawers. Thought I would be done tonight. Thinking, and now look, my broken, crappy gimbal. This one's again not working. I just wanna get some drawer fronts on and I'll fix this tomorrow.
Definitely in some better spirits today. Let's uh, try take two here. Hopefully these drawers go a little smoother. Someone's supposed to be in bed? Yeah. Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime's seven o'clock, and what time is it, Andy? Seven o'clock. It's past seven. It's like nine o'clock. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Someone's sneaking out of your bed, aren't you? Yeah, mom said I can come on my bed when I meet you, but don't tell mom I come down my bed. Did your baby move? Yeah. Sure, I'd love to see your baby move. Is that your baby move? Why is that your baby move? All right, thank you. That's a queen size here. Yeah, we're gonna put that in there. Can you put the washer on it? I will not wash it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. You want another one? Perfect, now I need the handle. To bed. No! Yes, let's go. No, 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 no. Sack of potatoes? That is cutting it close. Come take a look at that. Not by design. I think everything looks pretty good. Give you a better view. Probably thinking Blake, it's done. But maple trim. Not here, so. That's the only maple I have left, and unlike the other two pieces, it's not quite straight. Do you see that? Need a jointer. Let's set up this bad boy and put that on. Let's test them out. <laughs> 